Welcome, so in this video we're going to be working through question 3 of exercise 18f. Let's give it a read and see what happens. It says, the position of a body moving in a straight line x centimeters from the origin at time t seconds, where t is greater than or equal to 0, is given by x is equal to 1 third t cubed minus 12t plus 6. Find the rate of change of position with respect to time at t is equal to 3. This question is trying to be tricky with you because it's not using the word that we know the change of position with respect to time is referring to like the rate of change in position the change of position with respect to time that's velocity people so you need to know that so this is asking me to find the velocity at t equals three it's asking for the instantaneous velocity v is equal to dx on dt remember to find instantaneous velocity you differentiate the position equation here so this is going to be 3 times 1 third is just 1. Uh, t2 minus 12. You obviously don't need that one there. Okay, then I'm going to say let t equal 3. In which case, I'm going to get v is equal to 3 squared minus 12, which is equal to 9 minus 12, which is equal to negative 3. So that means the rate of change of its position with respect to time at t equals 3 is negative 3. So it's moving to the left at, at 3 centimeters a second because x was in centimeters right and t with respect to time. So it's moving to the left at 3 centimeters a second. But we can just write it like that. And I think uh, I think in the back of the book it just says negative 3. Walker dorks. All right, so let's now move on to b. Good. B. It says, find the time at which the velocity is zero. So now, you know, this question is just tricky. Now it's going, it's referring to the velocity. Well, we just found the velocity. We know it's the change of position with respect to time. So we're going to go let V equal zero and solve for T. So that means it's going to be uh, two squared minus 12 equals zero. I'm then going to solve this. It's going to be two squared is equal to 12 2 t, t is equal to plus or minus the square root of 12. Now, people don't like, people do like to simplify these things. So I could write this as 4 times 3 plus or minus 2 can come out the front here, square root of 3. Now, this is where 9 out of 10 people would walk away. It'll be like, fantastic, I'm a genius, I got the answer, good for me. But let's read the question. It says when t is greater than or equal to zero. So that means, let me write, but t is greater than or equal to zero. Therefore, t is equal to just the positive one. Uh, let's put a little statement to say what this means. So what this means is uh, the velocity is zero. at time t is equal to 2 square uh, to the square root of 3 seconds so it's instantaneously at rest at that moment perfect that is everything that we have to do for question 3 here so nothing too shabby there there's a there's b hopefully you found this uh, useful in your journeys and i will see you in the next video